You know who was an asshole? Abraham. Ivan the Terrible? Andrew Jackson. And he's on our ten dollar bill. I mean, didn't didn't he have like lots of like mistresses? That's that not what like he's an asshole. Okay, there was a man, I don't know his name, there was an Indian man. Um Tom-tom? I don't know who his name is, but he sued the US government, went to the Supreme Court. And because, you know, they wanted to force them to move to relocate onto reservations. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he gave this testimony. He did it the right way. Said, you know, you know, it's unconstitutional to make us move. And then the Supreme Court was like, you're right. They ruled in his favor said, you know, we cannot force you to move off of your land. It's unconstitutional. And Andrew Jackson just said, like, fuck it. Get these Indians out of here. And they did it. Because like, like, the military was completely behind Andrew Jackson, and they just fucking... That's why the Trail of Tears happened. Because of Andrew fucking Jackson, and he's on our $10 bill. Is and he he's... from Alabama? <laughs> yeah, I think he was from Kentucky, I don't know. No, 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 I meant like your accent. Your very country accent. Well, in my mind, that's the hateful redneck accent. <laughs> I thought there was wrong with being a redneck. Sorry, for from Alabama. You saw, you, saw that, you saw that one video in Which Stephen one? Colbert's, you know, where, where all those people... Oh, yeah. yeah. Was it Wicca? Was yeah. it that Yeah, it's it, Vic, Vicko. Vicko? Vicko can't... Can, Very Kentucky? progressive town. No, it was it was Georgia. No, 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 it wasn't Georgia. I'm pretty sure it was Georgia. Look it up. Look up Vico. Mother V I C C O. Are we recording? Yeah. Yeah, man. Wait, look, Vico, Vico. If it's in Georgia, you have to like fillet me. Kentucky. Oh. 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 Oh God! It, it's just was it Andrew Jackson? Just, I'm, I'm right on camera. Was that's it, good enough for me. Wasn't Andrew Jackson the one that tried to almost get assassinated? I don't know. I just know. I just know he had. He no, had a guy, lot. All of his female slaves him. were like his his women. Like he had a wife, but then like every other woman was like he like. And, but, I mean, everyone in history has mistresses. But wasn't like Andrew Jackson the one where like somebody tried to assassinate him in the White House, but both their Pistols didn't work, and Andrew Jackson ended up beating the shit out of him. Probably did. I mean, for sure as terrible as a human being he was, he was kind of badass. Yeah. Uh, at any rate, welcome to Safe Point. My name's Ryan Shepard. I'm Nick Rubio. I'm Hunter Taylor. Yeah! I'm already almost done with my hatred. <laughs> <Fuck it. laughs> Again! See, you don't pace yourself. <laughs> a video game show about video games. As <laughs> So, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the topics that you send us via Tumblr or Twitter or whatever it is, and this time we actually got a few, so we're gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna start with one. Do that. It's a comment off of YouTube from Elliot Rodriguez. It says we should talk about SOTOR. Uh, SWOTOR. SWOTOR. Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, where World of Warcraft is heading. Uh, into the ground. Uh, possibilities <laughs> on what new Blizzard MMO is, and new Star Wars Battlefront. So, um... Yeah, Swotor. I got. I don't know. I don't, wait, you can't. The poster's in the background there. You can vaguely see vaguely it. Vaguely see it. Anyway, um, I, I feel like Swotor brought a lot of cool things to the table. I like the whole, you know, you got to play your your own story. Like you didn't necessarily like you could play in an MMO style fashion, or you could just do the story. You know, some people just like wanted to play and find out their stories, right. all their characters. Right. So and that's why, you, you know, you got all these different companions that tied to different parts of the game. And, you know, and, and, uh, one of the coolest parts about it, though, I, that I liked was the space battles. Like, uh -huh. the, um, I it, didn't touch the game, so I can't say a damn word about it. It was interesting. Yeah, it looked cool. <laughs> it, it, uh, it, it, I, it was very interesting. Um, the, the space battles were really interesting, too, because I, even though they were, like, on, they were on rails, mm -hmm. like, it was like, you didn't, you didn't really have too much freedom when you were doing it like you that were was one thing that was actually good about star wars galaxies mm -hmm. is when you were in space it was completely you could move in any direction it was actually really well done the rest of the game however was not <laughs> um well, I, I had a major i had a really big following though really yeah i did i heard the, the problem did. with the old republic though is that it went to pay to win basically yes, yes it did when they when they went when they went to the free-to-play model as is the way that pretty much every mmo is gone these mm -hmm. days pretty much all games these days Free to play model. Um, they, they instead of opting out and choosing to make their pay subscriptions like just get you know bonuses as you know like aesthetic stuff and yeah. and, and kind of just stuff that wouldn't really break the game. They kind of made it so if it you had a free if you had a freak account, you couldn't really like make your character customizable or anything like that. Like you like really had to follow like you couldn't change the colors on your stuff right. and. Uh, so I, I, I haven't touched it too much after. I don't really know. What if, I don't really know. I think it's gonna kind of slowly decline. Uh, do you know anything about World of Warcraft? Because I haven't played played it in like two years. Um, so. they, I think they've released their their final their, their final patch is coming up. 
Have you played it at all? No. Yeah, uh, like, I'm more, pretty sure they're releasing their final patch. There's always more of a Guild Wars person. Yeah, Guild Wars. Guild Wars is I don't. I don't know that World of Warcraft is like. I feel like they they've still, had they a really. Have a huge, they have a huge following. They've had so. such a long run huge though. I mean, I feel like it might just keep going. I feel like the people who love and play World of Warcraft are pretty much just always going to. And mm. uh, I lost interest. I mean, I didn't lose interest. I just I felt like after Wrath of the Lich King, it just kind of. What's weird mm. for me about World of Warcraft is like I would play it in, in the same addictive way that everyone else would, and then like stop <clears throat> completely and randomly. It wasn't like I lean off like oh I started going. Listen, one day I just didn't go on, and then never again. Mm. And that's just I don't know. That's just one of those games. Um, I, what, what's this? Okay, so new Blizzard MMO. I haven't the heard anything. The only about thing that. I've heard about that is that it's called like Titan Project Titan or something like that. I don't know. I, I that's too early to speculate. And oh, have you seen the uh, Diablo three on the console? Oh, I'm just don't even. I don't want to talk about that. That's, <laughs> it, mm, makes the, me only, mad. the only thing, the only reason why I would buy that game is you can do split screen with your friends. That's fun. I guess it's, that's the only reason why I would buy it though. But that, there's not much interest in it for yeah, me, no. on, unfortunately. Battlefront. Uh, it, you heard that? I didn't hear that it was canceled. I, I heard through the grapevine that it was canceled. That they're not. They're, that they're putting it on hold for right now. That they're not going to do much with it. So mm -hmm. who knows? I really. After that, that trailer when they're just like on Hoth and a fucking. Uh, what, what, what was it? Land speeder? No, no, no. Oh, it wasn't like a land speeder. Though. Not land speeder. What, what were those fucking things from Hoth? Oh, fuck, I forget the what things that the. Um... They used to wrap around the ATATs. Yeah. yeah. The well, thing is called the AT -AT. Someone's gonna rip our yeah, ass. I know. This, but I think it's an ATAS is the name of the ship. Anyway, I yeah, you see one of those go flying by. And it's just snowy. It's in that beautiful, you know, ice graphic there or, or dice graphics, the Frostbite Two engine. I have like, to know now. I was. <laughs> oh God. Ship used to trip ATATs. He <laughs> said, trip hat. <laughs> Mother, come on, yeah. you know what I mean, it, man. It, it's the same as one word. I give up. I give up. I give up. Anyway, we'll, we'll find out later. We'll, we'll post it in the annotation. Play yeah. We're idiots. Uh, okay, next next question. Okay, so let's go on to the next topic. And uh, this one comes from Tumblr from Ratty Blue Wizard. Uh, wants us to talk about the Ouya new Street Fighter and Xbox One removing Kinect from bundle. I think we should discuss that first because it's not true. Okay, first of all, they did not remove the Kinect from the bundle. All Xbox uh, Ones will be sold with a Kinect. However, you, it no longer has to be connected for you to play your games. Obviously, it'll take away any of the Kinect enabled the features. You won't be able to do your voice stuff or anything. But Microsoft has said that you will not have to have your Kinect plugged in to use your Xbox One. They're kind of going back and forth on everything. Um, for the people who think that the NSA or something is gonna like listen in on them mm -hmm. on their Xbox, you're not that important. You're really not. Yeah, you know, you know <laughs> like that's like a really the other big thing thought. is is like I don't want the Kinect staring at me all the time. Then fucking put a towel over it, dude. Like. I, Turn it around. Like, what is it embedded into your wall? Like, what are you afraid of? Like, like here, connect. Oh no! And then you turn it on its side, and suddenly it can't watch you. Um, I haven't seen the new Street Fighter. Me neither. Isn't, 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 it? isn't it this? Is, is, are we talking like Street Fighter X Tekken? Like the Street Fighter fight? Like, I don't. I don't know. I thought that's. I haven't heard, honestly. That's I'm the so, latest Street Fighter game that I know of. I don't know of any. I, I haven't heard of it. Like, isn't it like it's Street, isn't it, it's Street new Fighter vs Tekken? Isn't it like I, I new? Also awesome. liked it. The Isn't main, it like Ultimate or something? New Street Fighter Ultimate, something like that? No, I don't think so. Like the main fighting game that's been getting the most buzz is Killer Instinct. So lately, yeah, well, that's because they're like yeah. rebooting it for the systems. Okay, let's just take a look real quick here. Capcom announces a new Street Fighter. Uh, Ultra Street Fighter. See, I was close. I said Ultimate, but it's Ultra. Oh. Ultra Street Fighter oh, Four. Oh my god. What? What? Why? <laughs> why? Why they call? Why they call it Ultra? It's a Street Fighter Four, but it's just. The same shit. <laughs> it'll be fun. It'll still be fun. Yeah. It, you know, they're it'll just gonna fun. rehash it for sixty dollars, and you're gonna. It's not. It's only fourteen bucks. It is. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's awesome. fourteen. And if you don't, if you don't already have the version of Super Street Fighter, it's only thirty nine ninety nine. Okay. Okay. All right. Come so, yeah, down. I thought, I thought fucking do like, Chaps McGee over I thought here. Yeah. Do the um, Boston Street Fighter. No, I thought ball. they're gonna do the um nah. thing that they did last time, which mm -hmm. is like Street Fighter Four, then Ultimate Street Fighter Four. Okay. Feelings on the Ouya. It's a fun system. It seems like it's, I, it's fun. It's, a yeah. definitely, it's the casual if, gamer console. Yeah, I don't think like you can, you're not you shouldn't buy that if you're expecting to just you know have the best graphics or anything yeah. like that. Like the way I looked at it, it looked like a ROM player to me, basically like a yeah. portable ROM player. It's for the it's for casual players. Like if you're a hardcore gamer at all, it's probably not going to do much for you. Well, you can still get. It. I don't because I mean I I consider myself a hardcore gamer yeah. and I still love to pick up old titles that I played when I, I suppose. Um, it's more for fun. I wouldn't take it too seriously. Mm -hmm. Um. It, 
there are mixed feelings about it. A lot of people who got it, as you were saying, I think, we should, I think people should support there's it, though. Of, like, there's a lot of, like, small problems. Like, people are saying the buttons with the controller. Yeah, the controller. Like, oh, yeah, the controller they looks said that, the, like, the, uh, when you're, like, moving through the menus and stuff, it's really kind of slow and sluggish. Mm -hmm. And there's... I heard like I feel like they just need support. Like that's what just, I mean. I heard they just need like a like they have some good games on there, but it, it's just not enough sometimes. Yeah, it so, just depends on your opinion. Mm -hmm. I think it's worth getting. It's only hundred. I think it's worth getting for a hundred yeah. bucks. I say it's worth getting. Um, don't expect too much. Mm -hmm. uh, next question or suggestion comes from Do a Blog, Do a Blog on Tumblr, and they I said. Doa? Maybe Doa, Doa blog. Maybe who knows, right? I think I thought it was Doa. Feel blog. free to correct us. Yeah, I mean, correct us as hard as you can. Uh, interview some indie game creators. I would love to see more of that. Yeah, actually, we would love to do that. We're super excited to try to get. A, uh, we're trying. We sent out some emails, but if we actually get an indie developer to come on the show with us, or if we could like interview somebody via Skype or do a Google, do, hangout, yeah, Google hangout. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably do like a live Google hangout. We're really excited to do something like that. So. Uh, if you yourself are a part of an indie game uh, crew and you'd like to do that, shoot us a message, email us, do not be afraid. We would just love to do it. We'll scratch your back, you scratch ours. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, we're, they're scratching our backs more, I think. But yeah. I mean, yeah. we're giving a light scratch and that's still nice, that's yeah. still pleasant. Okay, and uh, we have <clears throat> a suggestion from Games, Bongs, and Various Shit <laughs> on Tumblr. Um, GTA 5 multiplayer info just got released. Metal Gear Solid 5, Dark Souls 2, and the Ouya console, which we already talked about. But we will talk about Grand Theft Auto 5! Ah! Jesus Christ. That's, I thought that was everyone's reaction. <gasps> Grand Theft Auto 5. Yeah, 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 Grand Theft Auto it's its own role. It's yeah. it's it's it's, own, it's a complete game world within itself. Mm -hmm. Up to fifteen people. I'm gonna be the guy in the jet. That's me. I, dude, the guy who ramped off that mountainside and then pulled the parachute out. That was awesome. Was oh yeah, cool. they had like a group of people parachuting all together. Mm -hmm. That was awesome. I um I just think that Rockstar really listened to their consumers. Their consumers were really like wanting like oh maybe you could do like um co-op heists and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like actual mission structures. Um, I like how they were just like um. They were saying like, oh, they even added make your own races. You can make your own race. You could yeah. Um, you can change everything. What with else? Pet, like pet you can make your own team deathmatch levels and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. They really went all out with this one, and they said that it's not gonna come out till like two weeks after right. the like game that. comes right. out. My, my but if you buy GTA Five, you also have GTA Online. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's my a my, my biggest issue. It's not coming for PC for a while. When's it coming out for PC? I mean, I've heard rumors, like, they, they said originally that they weren't going to make it for PC, it wasn't going to happen, and that really depressed me, because um, I'm a PC gamer, yeah. but, you know, the fact that people, I heard there was, like, an online petition, and people, you know, were like, you know, we're want it for PC, you made GTA 4 for PC, you want, right. you know, people... Well, I mean, do not do games games for Windows. That yes. was that was an overwhelming comment. Mm. Just release it for PC, but, but, but like, not games for Windows. The mods that people came up for GTA 4 are huge. Like, yeah. they're amazing. Like, you could be Tony Stark in one of them. I, mean, I think it was IGN. Yeah. Was it IGN yeah, who put, put the top the, list? The compilation of I like the one that was uh, Iron Man. Like, yeah. you could you know, Tony your Stark? character was Iron Man. You could fly around. It was awesome. It was pretty and, you awesome. Know, like, I want to see that same stuff being brought to GTA 5 because, like, it's such a huge engine, you know? We would be remiss if we did not speak a little bit about ghosts and the multiplayer reveal. reveal. Mm -hmm. I was, honestly, I'm not a big Call of Duty fan. This is the first game that I'm excited for. I'm actually kind of excited for it. I liked everything that they showed. Character customization, yeah. thank you God. Oh, the easiest thing they could have ever put in. You can have women, finally. Like, you can have female players as your character model, which should have been in there from the yeah, start. Yeah, like, I feel like that shouldn't be a big thing. Like, that's their selling point. Yeah, like, that hey, shouldn't be a feature. Like, that's the that way they always ended. been there. But, you know, at least they put it in now. That's I the like, way they ended it. I like, like how in the in their video clip they had a female sol uh, soldier. I think that's, you know, it's, that's good. It's progressive. progressive. Mm -hmm. Um... The reverb system I thought was really impressive where the noises that come from the environment and from the guns are different depending on the environment that you're in. So if you're in like a small cargo crate and you shoot your gun, it'll be loud and it'll ring off of the surface around you. 
Whereas if you're in an open area, it'll kind of just be duller and. But it'll and, it'll it'll extend out far. Right, you'll right. Hear it from a longer distance. Right, and which is which adds an element of like you can tell if someone's in the same area mm -hmm. as you depending on how their weapons sound. The destructible environment. Oh yeah, finally. Awesome. Destructible environments. It's campers, awesome. snipers, they won't be able to hide anywhere. I didn't see the multiplayer reveal, but um, when me and Corey were watching, I think they announced it first at the Xbox One first conference. I think mm -hmm. was it? It wasn't E3. Yeah, it was Xbox One conference. Um, me and Corey were actually saying like that looks more interesting than sorry to say it because me and him are Battlefield people but we're like it looks Ooh. more different than Battlefield 4 like Battlefield 4 I love Battlefield but Battlefield was pretty good yeah, I, guess, but I, I just think I've, that, just, I've never been bringing, excited not bringing as Call much Duty. new as Ghost is for the right mm -hmm. so but I, I have friends who are call, like pretty hardcore Call of Duty fans and they think that some of the stuff's gonna be really, pro like, it's gonna make shit worse. They don't like the idea of the peeking around corners because they think that's gonna make people camp even more. But the and then me sliding. But the thing is, is, is like, I don't know, I, I wonder if those are legitimate complaints or just the natural resistance to change you get when you're really into something. Mm -hmm. Like, when you really love a franchise and they change something and they added something that's completely new, it's natural to feel kind of like a hesitation, mm -hmm. you know? But I'm hoping that it'll pan out well and I'm hoping that people won't just exploit it, you know? Because. Mm -hmm. Drop shotting and all that shit. I hated that stuff. <laughs> 360 no scope while I jump over this thing. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. I'm like, it's not skateboarding. Why are you? <laughs> like, I don't know. I like, I love the whole the fact that like the way they showed like the guy killing a camper in the video was like he threw a sticky claymore like onto the wall and blew it up and the guy behind the wall died and then there was a hole in the wall. Like that was that awesome. That is actually really cool. And then and then the, and then the when they collapsed the gas station where like he shot the gas station and it crushed like five people. That was awesome. Yeah. You know I guess the concern is it being overly scripted. Like not yeah. everything's gonna be destructible, but mm -hmm. just certain things will be. Yeah. And like this one wall will break every time. But, but I this feel wall like, won't. I feel like I feel like we're we've gotten to a point in in the time. technology yeah. wise. Yeah. yeah they I should like be we, able to. I feel like we've gotten to the point where that's that that hopefully that won't be the case where it's only certain things and like all the things will be destructible, yeah. you know? Like, the right. way they showed it, a nuke went off, and the game kept going. Everything was just fucking destroyed. That's really impressive, yeah. I'm so. just happy that they're actually taking more of their time mm -hmm. to pay attention to the small details and stuff that they were missing in the past games. Mm -hmm. So they're actually making, like, a full-fledged, like, this game, to me, is worth the $60 that you would pay mm -hmm. for it. So. Mm -hmm. Basically. Um, MGS5. Oh, Mega yeah, Metal Gear Solid 5. Mega Mega Solid Phantom Pain. Mega Gear Solid that, that, I'm sorry, sorry, that video just... It, that that was an intense video. It really was. I love the way that they. It's probably going to be fantastic. It's a but. I don't game. <laughs> like what? It's like what? What do you expect? It's going to be awesome. I don't. You know, it's not much to say about. Solid Snake loses his arm. Like here's here's an interesting though, thing though, is because obviously Microsoft Four got tens from like everywhere. Ninety percent of the company. So mm -hmm. do you think this would be another game that's probably going to be a ten? Yes, definitely. I, I don't know, like it's hard. It it, it's hard because, like, when you make a sequel to a game, if the sequel itself would have been a 10, it, it's going to be harder if the one before it was. You know what I mean? Because it has to be even better this time to be a 10. But I feel like the Metal Gear Solid, like, just the, the franchise in itself, mm -hmm. they've, they've always produced excellence. Like, I haven't I played a Metal Gear Solid game that I didn't love, you know? See, I played Metal Gear Solid 4, and I wasn't really a big Metal Gear Solid Mm -hmm. person before Mary Softball. I just got a PS3 and I was like, let me try it. And I loved the gameplay and I loved the story, but just like most people with complaints, the cutscenes were just too long for me and I kind of just felt like some of the parts yeah, it, was, it, was too intru it was too and intrusive. Like, it people aren't minute. exaggerating. There are hour and a half long cutscenes in the game. There are some. There's some that are shorter, but those are, you know. But As still, someone who loves cutscenes and narrative and stories, I'm really into that, yeah. actually. For, like, for me. For some people, it's unimmersive. Yeah, no, I really like, like, let like, me go take a piss, you know. You just I like shoot I always love cutscenes. I like cutscenes. It's not that. It's just the fact that the cutscenes weren't interesting to me. Uh, like, they were just like. And you wanted. You, you, I wanted to skip them, but I couldn't. Yeah. Because I was missing a part of the story. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, right. I'm forced to watch this. And it's not like watching, like, say, like. Tomb Raider's cutscenes, or like mm -hmm. The Last of Us's cutscenes, mm -hmm. or Uncharted's cutscenes, where like for me it's just like a very like engrossing cutscene. Whereas right? for like some of the parts, I really felt like could have been right. chopped, chopped up. Absolutely. Like they could have done it like a director's cut. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, like at the same time, like I feel like they they couldn't have done that because you can't tell somebody, well, your story's too long. Like they wanted to tell their story. No, I, right. I, I, I understand. I, I, I understand, but I respect it. Uh, what do you know about Dark Souls? 
It looks awesome. <laughs> yeah. I think it looks great. Like, the Dark Souls games are awesome. They're difficult, and, and they're just, like, Very every everything a hardcore, like, you know, RPG mm -hmm. gamer wants. The only thing, the thing that I love that I'm really excited for from Dark Souls 2 is that they they know they fucked up the PC version of Dark Souls. They know that the, the you, it's unplayable with the keyboard. You need, you that, need yeah, a controller. That does kind of suck. I, I really a, wanted to get the game. You need a controller to play it. But they, they said that they know they fucked up and they're gonna they're 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 making it better. They apologize to PC gamers mm -hmm. basically. I, I'm hoping that they do because I, I almost got the game because it was on sale for really cheap during mm -hmm. the Steam sale and then I was like I don't have an Xbox controller for Windows so I will not. Well, wireless control any wire any USB controller will work. I don't have any. That's a problem. Story of Ryan's life. It's a tragic one. <laughs> uh, but I think that covers all our suggestions. Yep. And if you'd like us to answer any of your topics or to talk about anything else video game related, send us your suggestions. You can send us messages on Tumblr. You can use hashtag SafePoint on Twitter. You can leave a comment on one of our videos. Hashtag and UIG. Uh, I, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I, I like hashtag SafePoint better just because, you know, I just, just, you know, I just like that. <laughs> but, um, you know, and we will try to see about the indie game developer, see if we can get him in on the next video. Or, or even a live stream. I would, yeah, we might do a live stream in the Google future. Google Hangouts, that'd be awesome. We'd love but, to. most of all, if you haven't, subscribe, do that now, leave us comments, you know, tell all your friends. <laughs> Everyone. Everyone you know. You know. Extended family. Your grandma. Unextended family. Your grandpa. <laughs> Yeah, you know, your grandpa, if he likes video games, I mean, if he, even if he doesn't, if he's like, it's just confusing, <laughs> or just get him to watch it, you know? Anyway, uh, once again, I'm Ryan Shepard. I'm Nick Rubio. I am Hunter Taylor. He is the, <laughs> he, he is, he is the Taylor <laughs> of Hunters. He is the one who hunts <laughs> Taylors. You hunt Taylors? <laughs> like, like people, like, you stitching in there, boy? <laughs>